This week marks the beginning of Advent, the time of waiting. And I'm going to use, in addition to Bible verses, this great little book called Watch for the Light. It's a collection of essays. And today, I'm going to read uh, briefly from an essay by Henry Nowen. So, and it is about the people uh, in the Bible stories of Christmas who are waiting, waiting for the coming of God. It says, those who are waiting are waiting very actively. They know what they are waiting for is growing from the ground on which they are standing. That's the secret. The secret of waiting is the faith that the seed has been planted, that something has begun. Active waiting means being fully present to the moment in the conviction that something is happening where you are and that you want to be present to it. A waiting person is someone who is present to the moment, who believes that this moment is the moment. So on our mats, we're going to practice being in the moment. These practices are going to be brief, so you can fit them into your busy holiday routine, and maybe they'll inspire us all to uh, be a little bit different this Christmas season. So we're going to start seated. Make sure you have uh, your props, block, strap, blanket, and uh, that you're your own best teacher, so practice safely. So I'm going to come down to the floor safely. One leg behind, front knee over the ankle, and come to all fours. We're actually going to start right away on all fours. So if your wrists bother you, you can come onto your elbows, or you can put your elbows on a block. If you're able to just push your finger pads into the mat, kind of like uh, you would with your feet, if you were standing, and that's going to lengthen the spine. And then start to pay attention to your breath. So the traditional theme for the first week of Advent is hope. But the question I want to ask is, what is your disposition going to be? What's our attitude going to be while we wait? So decide that for yourself. Maybe it's simply being fully present to the moment. We're still rooting our hands, drawing our upper arms together. Maybe one more deep inhale and exhale. And on your next inhale, we'll do a little cat-cow. So take your tailbone up, gently arching. Exhaling, drop the tailbone. Maybe the head drops hollow out. Do that a couple more times. Inhale, gently arch. Exhaling, hollow out. Inhale and gently arch. Exhaling, hollow out. And then come on back to neutral and shift your hips and look over one shoulder. And then shift your hips and look over the other. So start to stretch the side body. Do that. Maybe one more time, side to side. And then walk your hands a little bit further out. Try and keep your elbows lifted, your arms straight. And just gently start to drop your chest. You're going to feel it in your shoulders, your rib cage. It's early. Maybe just drop your forehead to the mat if you can or onto a block. Take a couple breaths here. And on an inhale, pull your little belly in, bring yourself back up, and go ahead and drop to your elbows. And we're going to do one brief low plank. So you can stay on your knees, just walk your knees back and stay here, or you could come onto your toes and lift your knees and take three deep breaths. Just nice core warming. Inhale deeply, and exhale, float your knees down. Walk your elbows back so that you can come on up to all fours. I'm going to grab my block. All right. We're 
we're gonna bring one leg forward. So I'm gonna be your mirror. So bring your right leg forward. Finding that low lunge, maybe you wanna keep your back toes curled under, hands to the thigh, and then sweep your arms up. Nice open chest. And then right away, maybe using your block for support, lift that back knee, turn the back heel down and in, we're setting up for warrior two. So opening up those hips, hips and shoulders, facing the large, the long end of your mat. Deep inhale, root your feet. And then windmill yourself back to the mat. Right, we're gonna bring ourselves to our first forward fold. So back foot meets the front. Let your head hang. Then inhale, fingertips under the knees, halfway up. Excellent, hang again if it's safe for you. And reverse your dive, fingertips up in the air. And exhaling your hands to your heart. All right, so right away we're gonna take a tree pose for balance, right? So maybe the foot stays on the calf. Maybe the foot comes up to the inner thigh. Use your drishti, your focal point, something that's not moving to help you balance and your breath. Come back to that intention that you set. Mm -mm. Every day is different. And exhaling, gently release. Staying at the top of your mat, inhale. Exhaling, fold forward. Inhale, half forward fold. Soften the knees, take that left leg way back in high lunge. So you're in the same lunge as you were before. Take a breath here. And then float that back knee down. Inhale, this top of the push up plank. Exhaling, chaturanga. Hips go down last. And one cobra, inhale, push your feet into the mat, firm up those legs and gently arch. Exhaling, forehead to the mat. Reverse your push up onto the knees or maybe the toes, curl your toes under and find a downward facing dog and take three breaths here. Maybe you wanna walk your dog or maybe you wanna find stillness. Hands spread wide. Hips lifting. Heels dropping, one more breath. So we're gonna do that same thing. We'll do that same flow on the other side. So bring your left leg forward, float that back knee down. Find your low lunge. Inhale, gently arch. And then exhaling right away, lift that back knee and find your warrior two on the second side. A couple of breaths here. And then windmill yourself around to the top of the mat. Bring that back foot to meet the front and a forward fold. Take a couple breaths here. Inhaling, half forward fold. Exhaling, hang. Reverse your dive, fingertips up in the air. And hands to the heart. We'll do that tree pose on the other side. See how this goes. your tree, do something else with your arms, and exhale, gently release and walk it out. Okay, so back to the top of your mat, inhale, arms up, exhale, gently dive forward, inhale, half forward fold, exhale, you're coming back to the top of a push-up, so step or hop. All right, just get there safely. 
and chaturanga down, chest and chin, then the hips, and inhaling gentle cobra, exhaling forehead to the mat, and then reverse your push up, come into the modified plank of the knees, and then drop your elbows down. We're going to take dolphin pose. So great for building upper body strength. Curl your toes under and lift your hips. Maybe walk your toes in a little bit. Push your elbows under the mat, making lots of space between your shoulders and your ears. Maybe you want to lift one leg and see how that feels. Put that foot down, maybe lift the other leg. Float your knees now if you need to rest. Coming back to that dolphin pose. And then take one arm, lengthening back into your downward facing dog. One big breath. And soften your knees and walk your feet in to meet your hands again. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhaling, hang. And reverse your dive, fingertips up in the air. And exhale your hands to your heart. So another challenging balance, we're going to do eagle pose. So drawing our energy inward, wiggle your toes, sit down into your heels, lift your right knee high over your left. And maybe wrap the foot around the back of the shin. Or you could do kickstand or you could hold on to a chair. Take your arms out and wrap your right elbow under your left. Maybe you give yourself a hug. Maybe you can double wrap. Take a few breaths here. Draw that inward, energy inward. Remember, it's just a practice. And exhaling, gently release. Take a five-pointed star and just let all that blood flow back into the joints. Nice. And then come right back to Tadasana. We'll do the other side. Wiggle your toes. Sit down into your heels. Cross your left leg over your right. Find that drishti. And then take your left elbow under your right. And exhaling, gently release again, five-pointed star. Drop that tailbone, lift the crown of the head. And then inhale, maybe just a gentle Back bend as your arms come together. Exhaling gently. Fold forward, have your toes a little bit pigeon toed. Keep your back straight. Maybe you want to bring your hands to a block or to the mat. It's a nice, easy forward fold. And walk your hands over to the one foot, outside of one foot, and feel that IT band stretch outside of the leg. Walk your hands over to the other side. And then turn your toes toward the top of the mat, just so you can float one knee down and come back to all fours again. Maybe rock your hips from side to side. And we're going to take that uh, puppy dog pose one more time. So walk your hands way far forward and gently drop your forehead to the mat. So if you're feeling a little warmer now, you could lift your chin, maybe drop your chin to the mat. Remember, you're your own best teacher. Lift your elbows, push your hands into the mat and walk yourself back up. So one easy seated twist. If you're able to fold your 
left knee in by your hip, do that, or you could have it stretch straight out, cross the right knee over, sit up tall, take that right arm up behind you, left arm in the air, and cross it over, and find your nice deep twist. Use that inner thigh, drawing the thigh toward the ribs. This foot's rooted. One more deep inhale, get tall, tall, tall. And exhale, gently release. So right away, we'll go to the other side, stretch your legs out. Fold the right leg in if you can, cross the left leg over, sit up tall. Take this back arm around, other arm up and over, and settle in. So being fully present to the moment, with the intention that you set, uncurl, maybe shake those legs out a little bit, and then we're going to come on to our hips. So you can do this with your fingertips pointing towards your hips, or it's a little less uh, strain on the wrist if you turn your fingers pointing outward. I've got my knees bent at about 90 degrees, All right, I'm going to push into the mat and lift my hips in a reverse tabletop. So root those feet, lift your chest, lift your hips. You could do this whole thing gazing forward. You could look up. You could let your head drop back. Whatever works for you. Exhaling, gently drop your hips, stretch your legs out, reach your arms up, and gently fold forward. So maybe hands on the thighs or the shins, or maybe you find your toes. We're going to do that one more time. So take your hands behind you, bend your knees again, and lift your chest, lift your hips. Couple breaths here. And exhaling, drop your hips again, stretch your legs out, lift your chest, and gently fold forward. And inhale, release. We're going to do one side plank, a gentle quad stretch. So you could stay on your knees or you could stretch your legs out and come on to the knife edge of the bottom foot. Just a couple of breaths here. And then gently float your hips down. Bend that top knee, run your hand down your shin if you can, or find your pant leg, or use a strap. And just get a quad stretch, stretch in the front of the thigh. You push your foot into your hand, take a little bit of a deeper stretch. Exhale, gently release. Safely transition to the other side, swinging your feet around. Coming onto the other elbow, decide how you want to set your legs, and inhale, gently lift. A few breaths. Now I keep these practices brief and efficient. Go ahead and drop your hips so that we can fit them into our daily routine. Stretch that quad. And exhale, gently release. So you just go roll yourself onto your back. Again, do so safely. So keep the knees a little bit bent. Drop onto that shoulder and turn onto your back. We're going to finish with one bridge pose and then the most important pose of all, Shavasana. So root your feet, 
and then inhale, push your shoulders into the mat and lift your hips. Maybe you want to interlace your hands underneath you, tucking your shoulder blades together even more. Chest lifted, chin soft. Inhale deeply, maybe lift a little higher. And exhaling, if you have your hands together, let them go. Gently drop your hips. Take one breath here without any motion. It's like rebooting your computer. And then if you'd like, stretch your legs out. You can tuck a blanket under your knees or under your head. Try and get all the props out of the way so nothing is touching your body. Simply focus on your breath until you don't need that anymore and you can just be fully present. Nothing to do until you hear my voice again. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe circle your wrists. Maybe take your arms overhead in a big morning stretch so there's no right or wrong way to get moving. Just do so safely. Eventually roll them to one side so that you can push yourself up to seated. Maybe keep your eyes closed. So find a comfortable position Maybe turn your palms facing up on your knees today. And in the waiting, be active, be present to the moment. Stick with your intention, your disposition. When you're ready on an inhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Exhaling, bow your head to your heart. Giving yourself that mental pat on the back for showing up on your mat so that you can be your best for others. The spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Namaste.